everybody. Uh, it's a great honor for us to be able to have as a guest tonight the art director and illustrator of this amazing film, David Pulaski. short about it as possible. Uh, basically, my job was to come up with an aesthetic approach of the film and, and uh, eventually draw most of the drawings. We had two teams of uh, supervised the kind of visual aspects of the world. To the point. <laughs> um, questions, I'll just right there in the right, if you are here. Uh, how much of the movie was for you guys as a whole uh, biographical, autobiographical. How much was lived and memories of um, the film is uh, well, absolutely autobiographical for uh, Ari Forma, the bearded guy in the film. He's the director, the screenwriter, the producer, and the protagonist of the film. Um, all the other stories are. Uh, Tell you a little bit about kind of how it came to be. I co we we worked together on a previous project, and then he said that um, after that was finished, he came he with, up with this idea for this film, and he is one of those people who kind of um, treat themselves through film. So he dealt with many issues in the, in his life through film, and he couldn't find a way to deal with this specific uh, thing, his experience from the war, and the fact. The fact that he just doesn't remember anything about it, he couldn't relate to the person in the pictures. Um, so he set out to do this, and the, um, he contacted his friends and he, he posted an appeal on the, on the internet in other places for people to come and tell stories from their experience from the war, um, and from that, kind of only the relevant stuff went into the script, and. Um, the whole thing then was um, made into a straightforward talking head dimension. There were like 90 minutes of uh, people talking to the camera, telling their individual true stories. And that was basically the soundtrack for the film. We used the video sequences as reference for the interviews in the film. The rest was kind of reconstructed out of our imagination, reference from photographs. Uh, all the people in the film appear as themselves you know, with their voices. Um, the portraits of, are, are based on, on the way they look in real life, ex except the first two characters. That's Kami and, uh, uh, and the, the, the guy who dreamt about the dogs and the, the guy in Holland, uh, whose stories are also true, but they didn't want to take part in the film. So um, their stories were retold by actors, and we had to invent their faces, kind of different faces, because the actors are quite, quite well known. Was there anybody else in the cast that was, not the cast, in the production team that was like Harry Potter, uh, part of the war somehow? Um, I think that from people, from all the people who worked on the visual part of the film, uh, which are kind of, I think there are 15, the, uh, I was the oldest, except Ari, and I'm 36, so I was 8 at the time, so nobody's kind of... And most of the animators uh, did not share this kind of experiences in any kind of uh, military action. They were, almost all of them served in the army, but nobody kind of was involved in any... didn't serve in, in combat units. So it's... for us it was... Um, it was just reading the script and watching the stories much much the same as it is for you. Uh, we are naturally more familiar with the subject matter, maybe, but uh, basically it's uh, it's telling someone else's story. It's not our story. Yes.
Any question? I, I can't even remember how I met you. Uh, first of all, it was more than four years ago. It took three and a half years for me to do the drawings. The animation took uh, two and a half years. Um, it's. Uh, I don't think that it's. Um, it, it's anything like any one of us could have imagined because it's a. It's a collaborative effort of a very small group of people. So everyone had a chance to express themselves. And this is a, 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 very much because of the way Ali works as a director. He, he, kind of, he has a talent for choosing the right people and then letting them do their work. Uh, so it's a mixture of a lot of you know, directions and ideas of a lot of people. So it's no one man's vision. Uh, in some cases, kind of, um, the, the visual approach for the whole thing came uh, from a pitch that we made uh, very early on trying to get funds for the project, and that's basically the, uh, the airport scene, where he arrives and he's thinking about death, wanting to get even with his girlfriend, hoping to die. Um, so there we kind of figure out the way it's going to look and kind of was the cue for the rest of it. When we actually started working on the film, the first thing that I drew was uh, the, the scene at, at sea with, with the flares coming down. And then it was kind of the first drawing and also gave the tone for the whole thing. Uh, and the color later became a motif. It wasn't premeditated. Uh, later it appeared in the eyes of the dogs in the beginning of the sky. Eventually it took over everything. But you couldn't no longer suppress this kind of chemical burn. <laughs>